Welcome YouTube. I am back with another detail. Woo. First things first, I want to say a big thank you to the owners of this vehicle. Because they've driven from Birmingham down to Cornwall to allow me to work on their vehicle. And what a beauty it is. So, woohoo! 22 plate Volkswagen Transporter T32 4 motion. <sighs> Fully customised as well. It's got carbon everywhere. It's an absolute stunner. So, already been outside, washed, decontaminated. You might be able to hear it's been pouring with rain all day today, so I didn't get any footage of that. But you can see down there obviously I've got to do the wheels out the front so today is get all of that done wheels off uh, wheels coated calipers coated wheel arches coated and then hopefully by the end of today we can get it back into the studio and make a start on the polishing work and uh, yeah I've been looking forward to this one so yeah very very tidy But yeah, obviously I couldn't I didn't take the wheels off outside. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the steam cleaner out in a minute. We're gonna do the calipers. And if you can see this line. Is that any better? I'm sure that this is all tar that we're gonna get off. So uh Yeah, same as the front. Lots and lots of spokes on these ones. So I'm going to get on with the wheels. Uh, Hoppy free eating a burger at the moment, so I'm going to finish that off. And it's just, it's horrible outside. So yeah, get me wet weather back on, wet weather gear back on. Get outside, get the wheels done. Other side, get them done. And then call it a night for tonight and then come back nice and early make stop polishing Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> So that's two of the wheels coated. We are now onto the calipers and wheel arch liners. So, Gion trim. I'm gonna leave this on nice and thick. Quite a few swells on this side. I did notice the other side looks really clean and tidy. But this side, yeah, we got quite a few swirlies and scratches. But we shall have a look at them tomorrow once it's back in the studio. Because uh, I said before, even though these hex lights are brilliant, they do hide 
quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, that's why I always try and show the customers the vehicle in there under the spotlights, because it's the spotlights that shows up the defects. But the hex lights look awesome. That looks so much better. Right, let me get me another one. And the calipers are gonna get Gion Infinite Base Type 2. Yeah, so that's wheel arch liners done, calipers done, wheels are done, and just gotta do the front one. And we get the wheels back on, that makes start on the other side. So why do I use the clay bar? Put it simply, even after a full wash, chemical decontamination, there's still bits stuck on that paintwork. This is a year old vehicle, so it's still relatively new. The paint, paintwork felt smooth. I still do it anyway. Every vehicle will get the same treatment, uh, but this is just after the bonnet. There we go. So yeah, so that's just after the bonnet. Every vehicle gets the same treatment, whether it's brand new, 10 years old, doesn't matter. They all go through the same thing. So I'm gonna go around, do the rest of the vehicle. Yeah, then do my paint depth measurements and begin polishing, yes. Right, let's get this clay bar done because this is probably gonna take me a little while. Before I clay the rest of the vehicle, new wheel covers. So, got these from Clean and Shiny. Uh, I pretty much get everything from Clean and Shiny. What a great company to deal with. Um, if I've ever had an issue, quick phone call, sort it out. And their delivery is second to none. Like, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I've n I don't know how many years I've been using them, but they've never, never let me down. But yeah, clean and shiny, go check them out. Absolutely brilliant. But yeah, nice new set of wheel covers because when I've been washing vehicles outside that have already had the wheels done, that's what I've, I've been using my wheel covers out there so the wheels don't get wet and they're just looking a bit tired. So got a nice brand, brand new set just to keep in here for when I'm doing stuff like this. Let's get these on. <laughs> So we'll start on the passenger side. You can see how nice that this side looks. There are a few swells dotted around. I 
but overall very very tidy I mean you would have seen some of the other vehicles that I've done that looking at this stage are not good at all but yeah so looking very very good I did notice if I can pick him up where the light is there see if I can uh, where are we so there is something running just there which I need to tackle uh, rear lights are a little bit swirly tailgate's a little bit squirrely a little bit swirly there's a scratch there which we'll have a look at but again the back end it's relatively good but this side You can see all the scratches down it. There's even some holograms on this panel. So something's happened. Uh, up here is really good. But yeah, definitely something happening down this side. Oh. that I wouldn't have thought that would have been from factory I don't know but there is a paint defect that little black dot so that is in the paint that's lacquered over that is but yeah definitely a lot more swells and damage in the paint on this side it's not horrendous but it's definitely this side and not the other side. Yep, so we'll sort all of that out. And there is a mark there, sanding mark. There's obviously been something there which is Somebody's tried to remove. Yeah, rest of it is really clean. Got some bird etchings on the front. But overall, for a 22 plate vehicle, you kind of expect it to be nice and clean. But yeah, this side, apart from a few little bits, really nice front end is really nice on the driver side from the driver's door back quite a bit of damage in the paintwork so uh, but the readings are all original paint the paint blemish I don't know if they would have let that go from factory um, but it's good if it, ha if it has been painted, I'm not going to say it is or it isn't, but if it has, it's a good colour match. Just needs matching now to the rest of it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen brand new vehicles come through that have had paintwork with next to no miles on it and the customer didn't even have a clue. And I know stuff happens before in, well, in transit and stuff like that, so it does happen. But yeah, overall, what an absolute beauty of a vehicle. Can't wait to get stuck into this one. So, wash is done. Decontamination is done. Paint depths are done. Walk round is done. Now it's time to tape it up and begin polishing. Yes. Right, let's get to it.
making good progress on the Transporter T32. Ooh. So the passenger side is finished, the back end is finished, the driver side, for some reason, this panel is quite scratched and swirled and the rest of it isn't. So uh, all my paint readings are fine, so I don't know what's happened there, but basically this panel is gonna need a multi-stage machine polish to get it back to where the rest of it is. So yeah, passenger side's done, back is done. This door wing bonnet is the same as the rest. It's, it's just a few little marks that need polishing out, but nothing bad at all. But yeah, this one, we're gonna do a multi-stage. There's a little bit here as well that's been de-nibbed and there's some sanding marks. Um, so yeah, so crack on with that. I wanna get the polishing finished today. So uh, let's crack on, yes. So now that I have the paintwork exactly where I want it to be, yes, it was a bit more work down this side, is what it is, doesn't bother me. It now all matches. So every panel, everything matches. Yeah, so glad I did that as well. So all the glass has been machine polished. So that is now ready for Gion view. So we have cleanse and we have repel. So, Gonna go around all the glass with cleanse. This obviously helps, even though I've machine polished it and Gion prepped it, this still cleans it even further and leaves down a base layer for two layers of Gion Repel. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on with that. I don't know what the time is tonight. Where are we? What is it, Monday, half past six. Uh, so yeah, this is probably gonna take me an hour or so get these on but i want to get this done tonight because first thing in the morning we're going to make a start on the coating and get that knocked out so wheels are already done once the coating's done we can then get onto the interior engine base finished so yeah so let's get this on i'm going to get the prep work done before the coating goes down on this one so I keep saying it, I know I keep saying it, but Spicehacker 7010, uh, this is what 
Gion recommend for their infinite coatings. So it will be all wiped down with Spice Hecka. Leave it about half an hour. Then we'll do a Gion prep wipe down. And then we can get on to the coating on this one. So I've got my list on the board of what I need to get through today. So yeah, pull my finger out, get this stage done. And hopefully by the time I've finished the vehicle or gone round the vehicle, that'll be the 20 minutes. Then I can just go around and do a Gion prep wipe down. And then, uh, yeah, make a start on the coating. But for this, we got a Gion ball wipe and then removal for the Spice Echo with the Gion soft wipe. Yeah, just not to inflict any damage on what I've done so far, because that's the last thing I want to do at the moment, is inflict damage and having to re-polish it again. So yeah, let's get on with it. With the exterior almost finished on the transporter, I'm now turning my attention to the interior, which is a lovely place to be in here. The leather is in really good condition. It's pretty much brand new. So leather cleaner mild from Gion. Gonna give it all a good wipe down. And then this is gonna have Gion leather shield for protection. Uh, we'll then go around and do all the windows. Um, wipe everything down with interior detailer, which is a nice antibacterial product as well. But yeah, just a nice light wipe down on all the seats. Yeah, let's get on with it.
Just having a five minute break from the interior. Another delivery. You can probably guess where this one's from. Clean and shiny. Geon tight applicators. Bottle, empty bottle. Get on foam. Geon will clean up. Leather cleaner strong. Another dispenser bottle. Large Geon tire dressing applicator. Optimum no rinse. Right, a 400ml bulk and grime customer. 400ml ceramic detailer customer. And interior detailer for a customer. More dispenser bottles. Uh, trigger, 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 trigger. And one of the most important bits of all. Sweet. I think that's everything in this one. Yeah. Thank you again, Clean and Shiny. Very much appreciated. Let's get back on the transporter. Glass is finished. All the leather is ceramic coated. Everything's been hoovered. So one of the last steps on the interior is Gion Interior Detailer. Um, this is such a fantastic pro product and I keep going on about it because it is just amazing. Really, really is. Um, so it's antibacterial as well. Um, it's safe to use on the multimedia screens. It's safe to use on trim, glass, leather, Alcantara. The list goes on and on and on, and it's such a quick and easy product to use. Yeah, so this is now my go-to interior product. But yeah, just so easy to use. A couple of sprays. And it just leaves everything clean, fresh. It has a nice little fragrance to it as well. So, uh, yeah, it's all starting to come together now. So I've just got to do this, which then finishes off the interior. Um, the exterior, exterior rather, we're still going to do Gion Cure. Door shuts, torque the wheels, dress the tyres. Yeah, once again, we're, we're not far off completion on this one. But what a turnaround. Ooh. It's been so nice working on this. It really has. Whereas the few I've had before, I mean, I, I like them when they're not so clean and covered in swells because I like the transformation, but also working on something relatively new, it is also very, very nice as well. So uh, yeah, no rushing around. It's just been really, really enjoyable and uh, yeah, I know I'm going to say this at the end as well, but thank you to the owners for giving me this opportunity. I say, they, they drove down from Birmingham. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But I feel very honoured that they've chose me to do it. Um, yeah, just thank you. Oh, and this vehicle is called Helen as well so I thought I'd just get that in there so uh, yeah all good so one of the last things that we are going to do is Gion trim for this one so we got 
bits and trim all over the place. Um, on the other side as well, we've got the awning to do, scuttle panel. So, yeah. Don't know if I'm going to set up time lapse or or catch back doing something else because I'm going to be on this for quite a while, I think. Transporter completed. That is something else. The depth and clarity in that paintwork is exquisite. There we go, that's a new word. Woo. That is very impressive. So, most of the vehicle had a single stage machine polish. There was the driver's side, which had some more defects on it. So. I took it upon myself to do a two stage on that side for the owner. They've traveled half the country to come down to Cornwall for me to detail and protect their car. I feel honored. All I can say is thank you. Thank you very much. It is so much appreciated that Somebody has come so much out of their way for my services. Thank you. Woo. So this was finished off with Gion Infinite Base Type 2. So that is a standalone coating on its own. I upgraded the customer to Gion Infinite Top Coat Type 1, which is a a hydrophobic top coat which extends durability and hydrophobicity um, but yeah so that's all been done I even took the wheels off for them ceramic coat them inside and out done the calipers wheel arch liners it's all been done on this one full interior leather coating glass coating trim coating engine bay has been done it's some bit of kit this is this is absolutely, it's just gorgeous. Everything about it. I mean, she's obviously had all the styling done and everything, it's not in your face over the top. It is just right. What they've done is absolutely spot on. Yeah. Right, let's have a look down the side. Yeah, look at the gloss levels on that. One of the last things to say, 2022 Transporter T32 4Motion completed. 
which has been geonized. Let's roll some afters.